Hello once again Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics. Today we're going to take a little shift away from the 124th, 125th scale model cars and we're actually going to look at some figures to help you build some dioramas. So today we've got the 1910 series American Gas Loaders. Now this model kit is from ICM and is a really cool addition to your early Model T type dioramas. So without any further delays, let's go down to the bench where me and Danny the dog will take a look at the American Gas Loaders. And here we are with the American Gasoline Loaders from 1910. You can see you get a nice guy here uh, with the gas tank. Now this guy here looks sort of like he's just standing there, but what I noticed about this is there's actually the truck body in here. His hand is holding open the doors and he's getting ready to grab this uh, gas tank here. And then you can see inside the truck a little bit. I didn't realize that at first what was going on, but then I kind of saw the shadowed outlines of the uh, truck here. This side of the box shows the figures from the back and the side as a painting guide as well as this man right here. The model kit is in 124 scale by ICM out of the Ukraine and it's intended for ages 14 and up, will require paint and glue. Now opening the box lid is actually going to result in something kind of funny. This is just a lid and it fits on this box here which actually has no detail on it. It's actually kind of smart by ICM because they can make cardboard boxes and not actually have to worry about printing so many. Here's the instructions which Danny the dog will go over and we've got one bag with three parts trees inside which I'll show you in a minute. So let's clear all this out of the way and let Danny do his job. Hello once again everybody this is Danny the dog and I've been doing a hard day's work working like a dog. Anyway so here we have the instruction sheet and let me just grab the pointer here. Okay, here we go. So parts tree A shows the legs and the body portions of each of the men. And they got their heads in there and everything else. And you actually get two of B. And that's all your fuel tanks of the vintage era. And then down here you have paint callouts for everything. You have Ravel and Tamiya. And then you've got in the Ukrainian language, the different paint colors, as well as what they are here in English. So now flipping the instruction sheet over, you can see the opening door type guy, I guess you want to call him that, sitting right here and all the paint color callouts, as well as the guy down below loading in the fuel tank. And you can see him from the side as well as down here from behind. Now this is just like what it looks like on that box side that Trevor showed you earlier. And uh, that's about it. So what we'll do now is we will join Trevor and take a look at those plastic parts. So as Danny was showing us in the instructions, here's our three parts trees. This one is A and then we've got two of B. And B is of course the gasoline fuel tanks from back in the day. So let's move these out of the way for in a moment and take a look at all the nice detail here. Now there you can see the nice coveralls, got the pocket in the front, you also have the old style cap and this man's face and the hands and arms. Again the detail on the pants and shoes is really remarkable. Every seam all in the right spot. Now moving over to our opening door guy. Again, you got that cap from the 1910 era, as well as the pants. Now here he's wearing more of a sweater vest, which is quite a unique thing, as well as a tie. So again, really nice detail. There's the second man's face. Just right there. So again, really excellent attention to detail. The long type leather boots that he's got on, as well as his hands. So really excellent stuff. Now let's take a look at those fuel containers. Again, look at the nice ribbing detail in here. Something about painting these copper, you know, kind of sticks in my mind. Maybe this one would be metal or painted even. And then here's our bottoms for the different containers and all the little handles and everything we've got. Again, really excellent work by ICM. Turning it over, no little 
couple little sink marks, but they're all in the inside. Unlike some of the AMT and MPC kits, it had them on the outside and you had to file them down. These ones do look really excellent. So again, really, really great work by ICM. And these should be a great addition figures for any old vintage dioramas. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video where we got to look at the ICM 1910 series American gas loaders. And I do hope that these figures will work out really nicely for you and that you can use them in your dioramas. So if you enjoyed these videos, check out this one coming up here. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. And until next week, everybody, happy model building.